In a previous tutorial I showed you how you could open a clip in the source monitor and then you could do an insert or an overlay or overwrite edit straight down into the timeline to cut your actual video up by dropping the item in or to write over what's already there. However, you don't have to use the source monitor. You can do this directly from the project panel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my icon view from my list view and I'm going to control double click my video bin to open it in place. I'm just going to move it up slightly so we can see different clips. Okay, so I've got clips that I want to drop in here. Let's look at this one with the C. Let's just click on it and see if I've got an input and out point. Yes, I have got an input and out point. I've selected the clip and now if I want to drop it where my current time indicator is, I've got the two options again of insert, which is a comma, which will cut it, the original clip that was in the timeline and move it across, control Z to undo that, or overwrite, which is full stop, which overwrites what's there, so the actual length of the original clip stays the same, I've just overwritten the information that's actually going in there. So you can, if you want, get items to move straight across from the project panel to your timeline. However, what if you don't want your items to go onto the same video channel? So if I control Z to undo that. What if I want this item here actually to go on video 2 and audio 2? Now I've expanded video 2 and audio 2 just to show you that audio 2 and video 2 are exactly the same as audio 1 and video 1. It's just that these headers, these are what these are called headers, have been expanded. So usually it looks like that but you can expand them so they look exactly the same. Of course, Video 1 and Audio 1 can also be twirled back down if you wish. Okay, so what you need to do is target the video track that you wish to go to. I wish to go to Video 2, so I target Video 2 but untarget Video 1. And the same with the audio, I'm untargeting Audio 1 and targeting Audio 2. And now, when I select my clip and hit either comma to insert edit, it cuts what's below there and drops it in. Control Z to undo. But if I do overlay edit, do full stop, it writes it over. But the original video information underneath is not lost because it's gone on to a different video channel. So that's quite an important little option to be able to drop items on to target your video tracks really quickly to be able to do bits and pieces. Now it's also worth saying that occasionally when you're setting in and outs, you may have the wrong thing selected. So say I've got this particular panel over here selected and I think I'm hover scrubbing over here and I do an I. Now I think I've created an in point for this clip over here but notice in the timeline I've actually created an in point for my timeline. And then if I'd have gone through this to choose an out point say somewhere around there, O, what I've actually done is I've chosen or created an in point or an out point in my timeline. Now that will cause me problems. Okay? If I now select a clip and I decide to hit the full stop key, it gives me a warning dialog saying, oh hang on a second, the source is longer than the destination. What do you want to do? Now I'm not sure what's going on. The problem is that actually what I've done is I've put an in point and an out point in my timeline which are right next to each other and I'm trying to fit a clip into there. So I could choose ignore the sequence out point and click OK and it does drop the item in but you've had a warning dialog box you're not quite sure what's going on. If I just control Z to undo. If you've actually got something like that coming up what you can do is press cancel and then right click at the top here and go to clear in and out and then you're back to the normal behavior. But notice I got the problem because I didn't have the project panel selected when I was doing my hover scrubbing for in and out. I actually had my timeline selected. One other thing to show you. If I open up a clip in the source monitor, notice that I now get something like a V for video one and A1 for audio one. And if I now decide I want to drop this clip in, I'm just gonna click here the insert edit, nothing comes in. This is because we need to make sure that this V and this A1 are also in the same place for the video track when we're dropping anything down from the source monitor. And to do that we can just pull it across and pull it down. And now if I control Z and I actually drop it in now you'll see that the clip actually arrives. Control Z to undo or if I do an overwrite edit you'll see it drops down. But if you're taking something from the source monitor, you do need to target the tracks not just by clicking on the header, but also by taking this V1 
and this A1 and moving it up or moving it down accordingly. OK, so that's moving tracks in and dropping tracks in from the project panel and from the source monitor. If you've got lots of clips open in your source monitor, they'll all be listed down here and you can quickly go between them. Or again, you can close all and get rid of them all. And then the A1 and the V disappear and we're back to being able to drop clips in directly from our project panel simply by inserts or overlay edits. Whichever target track we happen to have targeted at the time.